Are you taking advantage of your local network and your business? Hey guys, Jason Cheney here. And today we're going to talk about five little known secrets of how to locally network better in your business. Now networking is an important part of any business. You need to network if you want to grow your business. Networking in your local area can be especially important as it gives you local connections in your community. It can also be fun and puts you in touch with people who have an understanding of what it's like to do business in the community that you are also doing business in. If you're unsure how to get started, here are five ways you can network in your community. Number one, get out there. This is probably the number one thing, guys. Go out into your community and meet people in the other businesses that are out there. If you're only at home trying to run your business, you're never going to meet anybody and you're never going to be able to network. Whether the businesses are similar to yours or not, you never know what you can learn and you never know who they know and who you may know that could help them. Now you can check, check out your town or city hall chamber of commerce to help you get together with some of the local businesses. I know where we used to live in Texas, they used to actually have a monthly business meetup, which was really nice. You can go to fundraisers. This is a really, really good way to meet people who are business minded, but also they're in the, in the mindset of giving back and wanna make a difference in the world. Now remember, this isn't the place to be selling your business, but you can meet other people this way. Even just going out to the golf course or taking a crafting class is a great way to network and meet people with similar interests to you. It doesn't have to be a business relationship when you network with people. Anyone who is going to spread the word about your business is part of your network. Now, here's a very, very important part of this. Be a human being, guys. Don't be weird. Don't just try to sell your business. Actually get to know people, talk to them, and you'll be surprised how many people will actually network and be telling people about your business for you. Second, get a second look when you meet someone at a special event or fundraiser. You want to get a second look at them and see if they are really on the same page as you. You shouldn't set up a cup of you shouldn't set up a cup of coffee meeting with everyone you meet, of course. But for those that you feel you want a deeper connection with, go ahead and set up a plan then and there and go ahead and set up a plan uh, and to meet up at the coffee shop in a few days or so to get to know them better. Now, one of the things I really believe in is the energy that I feel. If I feel negative energy from people, I do not try to get to know them any better. But if I feel good, positive energy from them or I feel that there's some connection there, I go out of my way to try to kinder that relationship and make sure it uh, can blossom. Third thing, guys, help others in your network. Remember to, to help those out who are in your network, who are in your networking relationship with you. Who, you, who is in your network relationship in your network and uh, you have a relationship with, sorry, tongue twister today. Don't be greedy and always asking for help with your business. Offer to help out whenever you can so your network doesn't feel like you're using them and that you also, con that you also are contrib contributing to them also. Now with that, really important. If someone start to feel like that you are just out for your own self-interest and you're using them, they will not network for you anymore. And the main thing that they're gonna end up doing is bad mouthing you to others. So be very careful about that. One of the things I even do here in Columbia, I like to go to a little coffee shop where a lot of us meet up, um, talk about things, ways to network. Um, also things with the VA, stuff like that. A lot of sort of disabled veterans. And one of the things I do is I actually help them clean up. You know, it's not money, it's not getting the business out there because I don't use some of these other social media platforms, but they appreciate it. It's the little things you do, and sometimes you'll be surprised how far that gets you. Number four, guys, use your ex existing network. Check out your current contacts. You might already have people you can network with locally that will help you grow your business. They might also have a network that could be beneficial to you to help grow your business. Now with that, you a lot of times, a lot of us think that people automatically know what we're doing in our business. The truth is, People have such busy lives, they don't have a clue of what you're doing. So just talk to them, let them know, and see if they're open to share your business with other people. You'll be surprised how that happened. Number five, maintain those relationships and don't lose track of your network. You wanna have about five to 10 strategic relationships that you're always checking in, in on and nurturing. Make sure you interact regularly, regularly with them and that is good for them as it is for you. Now, the way I like to do that I actually keep, because we do most of our networking online, I actually keep uh, journals of everyone I talk to, um, what the conversation was, just a little gist of what the conversation was about. And if there's something very, very important or something impactful that's happening in their lives, 
like uh, some people, they may be getting ready to graduate uh, master's or a doctoral program and let them know like, hey, congratulations, you did that. You'll be surprised how much people appreciate the smallest things or if someone's going through some uh, tough times and all you just say, hey, just want to check on you and see, are you doing okay? How's your family doing? That goes a long way, guys. Now, for an extra bonus to start off the week, I'm actually, I, you can actually use LinkedIn also to connect with people in your city from the comfort of your own computer or smartphone. So if you're an introvert and you're like, I don't want to get out, I don't want to go out. Hey, my wife Cece is the same. She is, I have to pretty much break her arm just to get her out. It's like pulling teeth. And you know, it's just not her thing. So LinkedIn is one of the platforms that she likes to use, we like to use also because we're, we don't live in the United States anymore and we don't speak Spanish. So now if these five tips to network locally may not be an option for you, if you live in a rural area, if you work odd hours, or if you like me and prefer to take advantage of, advantage of any free time you have, click the free guide below guys for the blueprint we use to go from less than 25 people in our network to over 6,000 connections in six months and have a great start to your day guys.